This is the Horse Radio Network. This is episode 379 of Horse Tip Daily, a different horse tip, a different equine topic, a different equestrian expert every day. Horse Tip Daily brings the world of equine knowledge to you one day at a time. Today's tip is sponsored by FeedXL. Visit them at FeedXL.com. Enjoy today's tip. Howdy, everybody. Glenn the Geek here with you from Lexington, Kentucky, and you're listening to Horse Tip Daily. Well, today I will be doing the tip, and actually a two-part series today and tomorrow, and I thought that uh, that little music might help set the stage for what we're going to talk about over the next two days. And here is Marion Kennedy. Gotta go feed. <laughs> Gotta give them hay Gotta go feed the horses Because it's a brand new day Gotta go feed the horses Gotta feed them now Gotta go feed the horses Because horses need the chow No time for coffee Can't take time for me Gotta take care of the animals So many miles to feed Gotta go feed Got to go feed Well, what we're talking about over the next two days is her problem there in the song was she didn't have time for coffee because she had to go feed. But what we're going to talk about is why you need to get up earlier and how to do it. I actually saw an article that prompted this from Peter Shankman, who's a well-known blogger, and he talks about the top 10 reasons to get up early. And those of you who have gotten emails from me, many of you have commented that, uh, wow, your email came in at four something in the morning. Well, that is because I get up at four every morning and, and, uh, I'll explain the reasons why here shortly. I took, uh, Peter Shankman's article about why you need to get up earlier and how to do it. I took that and broke it down into two parts, the top 10 reasons that you should get up early every day and also the why and how you can get it done. So we'll do that in a two-part series over the next two days. But first, let's talk about feeding those horses. Do you know what you're feeding them is correct? Do you know if they're getting the right vitamins and minerals? Do you know if they're getting too much hay or too little hay or too much grass or too little grass? Well, you never quite know because we're not doctors of nutrition. Well, that's fortunate for us that a bunch of doctors of nutrition did put together the site called FeedXL. Stop on over to FeedXL.com, fill in some information about your horse, fill in some information about what you feed your horse, and you will get the results that shows you, are you feeding too much? Are you feeding too little? Are you giving too much of this supplement or not enough of the other? So this is one program that puts it all together for you and makes sure that you're doing the right thing by your horse. And you can save money by doing it because it will show you the areas that you are doing too much. And what they find is that a lot of people are feeding too much of some things and not enough of others. So stop on over to FeedXL.com and for a few pennies you can find out and keep track of whether you're feeding your horse correctly no matter what time of year. Okay, let's talk about getting up early. And as I said, those of you that know me know I get up at 4 o'clock every morning, and there's a bunch of reasons for that. Actually, Peter Shankman had 10 reasons why to get up early, and I've sort of modified these for horse people. Uh, Number 10 on the list of why to get up early is to learn. You can get a lot done. That's one of the reasons that I get up so early every morning is I got in the habit of doing it. And once you get in the habit of doing it, you wake up 4 o'clock every morning whether you want to or not, even on the weekends, which is kind of a bummer on the weekends, to be honest with you. But uh, you can, uh, what he said in number 10 is learn. You can browse seven websites in a row. And that's what I do first thing is I get up and I check, I do the Drudge Report to see what regular news is out there every day. And then I uh, go to the Chronicle, I hit Horse and Hound, I hit the Horse.com. Horse City, and a bunch of the blogs. So I do all of that in the first half an hour. So I sort of get caught up on the day's news right away first thing. So you can learn first thing in the morning. If you get up at uh, half an hour before you have to head off to work or feed the horses, you don't usually have time to do that. So I find that I I like doing it that way. I know what's going on a little better in the day. And, uh, you know, it just makes you smarter to get started for the first thing in the day. 
The other uh, number nine he, he had is it's really all about you. And that's true. It's pre your you, you time. It's one of the very few times during the day that you have you time. So you can take time making your coffee. In my case, I make my tea. And you, you know, you pet the cat, you feed the dog, whatever it is. You just have time for you. You can sit down, drink a cup of coffee. Uh, I like to read magazine or sit there and read a book. Uh, so that's what you can do for, you know, get 15, 20 minutes of that in in the morning. So it's that special time of the day when it's all about you and you don't have to worry about the kids or the horses or the husband, for that matter, or the wife. Uh, it's just that you time. Uh, he talks about getting things done first thing in the morning. Well, one of the things I like to do first thing in the morning is clean the kitchen, and believe it or not, because I am, you know, my mom and dad made us do the dishes. We'd have family dinner every night that my mom was really big on making big dinners every night. And we'd have those big dinners every night, and then all of us kids would be forced to wash the dishes. And even if we had company over, you had to do the dishes right away. I, so I am anti-doing the dishes immediately after dinner at night, so I do them first thing in the morning. I find it soothing. I listen to a podcast while I do it. And then the rest of the day, the kitchen's clean, and I like that. But I love doing that first thing in the morning before anybody gets up. Certainly, if you have kids, you know how important that alone time is in the morning. Well, number seven, he had said on the list, is you're automatically early. And what that means is you're not in a rush. You can you can uh, take your time. You can make sure that uh, you, you get the things done that you need to get done. You're calmer. You're more relaxed when you're heading off to work. You're not rushing out the door. You're not stressed. You can leave a few minutes earlier, take your time, not have to speed, and just not feel that stress when you're going into work. And, you know, a lot of the time top corporate executives and I know a lot of the top riders that I've spoken to in, in you know in the world do that as well they all they all tend to get up early so that they make sure that they can get their minds in the right place before they get out and start riding their horses in the morning eat well you have time for breakfast which is something you know that uh, Marianne Kennedy said no time for the coffee well you'd have time for the coffee you can uh, make sure that you you get a good breakfast in in the morning before you head out it still is the most important meal of the day I cannot survive without it that is for certain I mean I know I'm on a strict diet so I don't I can't eat certain things but uh, I make sure I have time to make my breakfast in the morning Exercise, terrific time to exercise, uh, to get your morning workout in before the day even starts. Because you know darn well if you wait till after work or if you wait till the end of a long day of uh, working in the barn or riding, you're not going to get your exercise in. So it's a perfect time to do that. I go to the gym many mornings at uh, 4 o'clock, and I'll tell you what, it's empty. There's nobody there. It's a great time to go to the gym as well. You can do your barn chores. If you have barn chores you need to do in the morning, you can do them slower and make them more enjoyable. You don't have to rush around the barn, throw the food at the horses, upsetting everybody in the barn, the horses, the cats, and the dog. You can just take your time, relax, and actually enjoy it. Uh, so if you normally get up at 6, you get up at 4, that extra two hours is totally amazing. Even if you got up at 5, that extra hour will give you the time to to enjoy the barn and to enjoy the horses in the morning and not be so rushed. And believe me, that will make a huge difference on the rest of your day. Answer emails. So those of you who email me know that I answer emails at 4 to 5 in the morning, somewhere in that range, sometimes up to 5.30. So you're going to get your emails answered, but they'll probably be the next day after you write, and it'll be early in the morning. I get more comments than that from people writing by saying, what are you doing up at that hour? Well, you know, it is a quiet time. You're not being interrupted by the phone. You're not being interrupted by anything. The kids are in bed. They don't want to get up that early. So your kids are in bed, and you can really take the time to concentrate. I put on music, my eclectic brand of music. I uh, use Pandora and have a very wide mix of music in my player, and I just turn on the music and answer emails. Number two, do something you had never have time for. If there's something, maybe writing your blog post if you have a blog, uh, maybe you have a ton of emails, maybe you li uh, you, you have some software or you're, uh, you're reading a book that you never seem to have time to get to. Well, you know what? You have time. You'll have that extra time in the morning to do that. So do the things you never have time for first thing in the morning. You know, maybe it's, uh, maybe it's you know, clean a stall or two or whatever it is that you don't have time to get to because you're usually rushed. And also, getting up in the morning truly can change your life. 
Believe it or not, 30 minutes, an hour, an hour and a half will make a huge difference. Just give it a try for a week. Uh, in the next tip, we're going to talk about how you can get up earlier in the morning. We have some tips on how to do that, and I think they're very good tips, actually, that Peter had that I modified a little bit for horse people. So if you're going to want to be more productive, if you want to get more things done in the day, if you want to reach more people, if you want to ride more horses, if you want to make more money, That extra hour to an hour and a half in the morning will do it for you. And believe me, you get used to it. Now, you're going to find yourself going to bed a little earlier. That's one thing I will warn you about. But we're going to talk about how. How? How how can I do this? I can't get up at 7. How am I going to get up at 5? Well, let's talk about that in tomorrow's tip. Thank you, everybody, for listening in. And we'll be back again tomorrow, as I said. And thank you to FeedXL. Visit them at FeedXL.com. Ride safely today and get up a little earlier and you won't be so rushed. The Horse Radio Network and the Horse Radio Network hosts are not responsible for statements of guests or their opinions. Use your own judgment when listening to the tips provided by the experts on Horse Tip Daily. 